Stay with us. We've got a huge tag team match coming up. And both these teams come into tonight looking to make a statement, which means we might see these two teams do things we've never seen them do in the past. They're all about ratios. Maybe you'll get a date with one of them finally. Huh? Byron, you have to love Bailey's enthusiasm, am I right? You're absolutely right, Michael. It's hard not to smile when Bailey's around. It's just an infectious feeling when Bailey comes to town, when Bailey competes. Everybody's feeling hug life, except Corey. Sasha Banks has made a great deal of history here in WWE. Competed in the first ever women's Hell in a Cell match, multiple time Raw Women's Champion. You should get one of those uh, rings that say Graves on it like Sasha has. I'll pass. Stay tuned. Here we go, guys. Tag wow. team action is underway. Side Russian leg sweep. Oh, ho, ho. perfect form. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Back in from the apron. years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE locker room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think it's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. 
I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match needs to do the job they're paid to do. I don't think it's that much to ask. Bringing it back between the ropes. We have Mandy Rose competing here tonight. Let's talk strategy, Byron. Let me start with... Actually, I'll take this, Cole. There is no strategy when taking on Mandy Rose. She's God's greatest creation. You literally cannot compete with that. Case closed. Question over. Nasty drop. Beautiful technique. Well, we had Corey giving his uh, unbiased strategy discussion concerning Mandy Rose before. Byron, do you have an answer now? Thank you, Michael. Yeah, Mandy can be defeated. And you need to neutralize her absolution ally, Sonya Deville. Together, they can be tough to beat. But if you work on them one at a time, it's possible to earn a win. Become Bailey's MO to fight from underneath. Since her days as NXT, she's had to overcome setback after setback. Well, certainly known as an ultimate underdog, Bailey faltered many times early in her career. But her devotion and diehard attitude inspired a passionate following within the WWE universe that in turn lifted Bailey to great heights. Drop. We harped on Bailey's underdog past. It still sticks with her, but she does find ways to put herself in a position for success despite her humble nature. Well, underdogs are good for fairy tales, Cole, but this, this is real life, where the women's division is about asserting dominance. Underdogs don't dominate. They just get lucky once in a while, and I don't see Bailey carrying around full of clothing. Hard landing there. Nothing to worry about, just a little misstep on her part. Oh, what impact. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top tag team. She's definitely energized, but she better make sure she saves something for later. Hey, Byron, just like you. I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer a variety of opponents. To see the Swiss Cyborg and Celtic Warrior go from unwilling partners to WWE Raw Tag Team Champions was truly impressive. I spoke to Sasha Banks after she... Look at this might be it! Oh, my! She goes for the cover. Come on, how is she still going here? She's still in this one. Boom! <laughs> Sasha Banks dodged out of the way there. Reflecting on your conversation with Sasha Banks, Byron, Sasha feels she has a responsibility to empower women all over the globe to find the boss in themselves. Yeah, you know what? I'll hand it to Sasha Banks. She finally humbled herself enough to allow one night not to be all about her. Oh, my goodness. This hurts. Oh! for the challenger. The challenger's championship aspirations are beginning to fade. Corey, we know Bailey can be a threat in the women's division, but her game isn't without its flaws. How should her opponent expose those? We've seen Bailey lack killer instinct. She won't go where other women often will. Take her to a place where she's uncomfortable, a place where her only chance to win would require ruthlessness, and watch her indecision destroy her. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in this. Ooh, what impact. That smart observation Corey made about Bailey's lack of a killer instinct has cost her in the past. Bailey is a sympathetic competitor, and that usually get out of her way. She ain't playing. And the 
corner is not a good spot to be. And there's that corner exploder suplex. Cover, cover. The pin's broken up. They got it. Bailey leads the way and route to the victory here tonight. Now that's the kind of win you can build some momentum off of. The action we see each and every year at Money in the Bank simply never ceases to amaze me.